Hi, I'm Renee Rice with the Toy Industry Association, and today we're here to talk about ways to celebrate Mother's Day. We know it's a day that's celebrated around the world on the second Sunday in May, and it's an annual time for moms and kids and families to spend time together. My kids love to start the day making me breakfast in bed. And we know that moms are kids at heart, and they love to play. So whether they're playing with toys and games, outdoor sports, activity toys, there's so many different ways that moms and kids can share the days together. For example, my friend Mariana is making a beautiful charm bracelet. She's using the Best Wishes Jewelry Kit by Faber-Castell, and she's beading here on her necklace. It also comes with markers, with stickers, and she can write a little note and put it in a beautiful little bag, and it's already ready to go as a gift for her mom. So she's having fun doing that, and here Giovanni is actually putting together a book. These are Create Your Itty Bitty Books by Faber-Castell, and he's creating some stickers comes with these great little books also, and he's already put some stickers in his book. And he's going to create some great stories for his mom, stories that mom will treasure for years to come. Another craft kit for boys and girls is the Chimp and Z kits by Pressman Toys. These are wonderful 3D kits that come with already designed on one side, and the other side kids can color it in whatever way they want to to personalize it. It comes with these great three-dimensional pop-ups, and the box itself pops up so then they can display the wonderful designs that they've made for their mom. Some kids also like to, and some moms, love gardening. So this is a way that moms can share their love of gardening with kids. This is the miracle Grow Grow a Plant Kit. You can grow either zinnias or flowers, or you can grow vegetables. You can see it comes with these great little kits, and with the miracle Grow will help them grow very strong and sturdy and quickly. And then these can actually be placed into the pot. Both of them can be placed into the pot, and the kids can watch them grow. It comes with instructions, with the little markers, everything that kids will want to, to share in the experience. Another kit for growing and gardening is the grow -em kits. These also have a wonderful website that kids can go and learn about educational things. They come with these pellets, and when you add water to these pellets, you can see that they'll grow really large. And that becomes the, the place where you can put in your seeds. You can actually plant the seeds, and the kids can watch them grow. So whether it's a pizza garden, a taco salad, or things that kids love to eat, we found from the American Gardening Association that 98% of the kids that grow vegetables eat the vegetables they grow. And that's something all families will love. Being outdoors, we know that moms and kids also love to spend time outside. My kids loved playing with bugs. And even though I was sometimes a little squeamish about the bugs, I know that this kit, the light um, bug kit by Summit Toys, the kids can actually vacuum up the, the bugs and they don't even have to touch them. It comes with a great guidebook that shows them all different kinds of bugs that they can collect. And in the end, when they become a true bug wrangler, you can put an iron-on patch on their shirt to show and give them a little self-esteem about what they've accomplished. So that's a fun way for moms and sons to spend some time outdoors. Now we know that moms also want to teach their kids about nurturing. So many moms share dolls. And this is a, a nurturing doll. It's by the nursery um, the nursery set by Middleton Dolls from Madame Alexander. And boys and girls both can learn how to nurture and play with baby dolls. And we know that moms also, some moms like to collect dolls. So for example, these Madame Alexander collectibles are Alice in Wonderland. So whether moms and kids read the stories together or moms want to share growing up with their childhood and some of the playthings that they had, they can also share that with their daughters and with their children. As we move to games and puzzles, we know there's so many different ways for families to play together. This one, for example, is the Panic Tower by Goliath. And what it is, is a stacking game. So there's different cards that teach the kids how to stack, and it also teaches them patience. And they need to be calm when they're playing this game, because if they knock over the tower, then they have to get a panic button. And after they get three panic buttons, they're out of the game. So it can be played with teams of our families, um, with children from six and up, for members two to six, members can play it. And it's a great way to teach your kids about cooperative play and also teach them about winning and losing gracefully. When moms want to move outdoors or get their kids up and active and moving, there's this great chameleon bean toss game by Melissa and Doug. 
You can see here that they have both numbers on them and they have symbols. And so the kids can stand far away or close by and they try and fit them into the, throw them into the different places. And they'll have fun, of course, just playing around the yard and throwing the bean bags to each other as well. So you can create lots of different games for them to play together. So whether or not moms love to play with crafts with their children, and maybe create some wonderful experiences and crafts together, whether they are enjoying gardening and want to share that skill with their children, whether they are sharing their love of dolls or their love of the outdoors, or if they're playing games and puzzles with their family or playing outdoors. All of these are great toys and games for families to play together, and these are just a sampling of the many toys and games that are available. So please come back to toyinfo.org and see many more product trends in the future and ways to play with your family.